All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Ryan, and this is a ninth video in a series dealing with Zencart, so allowing you to sell products online with your own shopping cart software program. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install your own custom template. So whether it's a template you found online that was for free, uh, or one that you found that you purchased. So I'm going to show you how to change out the default template that comes with Zencart when you first do the installation. Now just so you know there are nine or excuse me eight prior videos so you should have watched those first and if you haven't yet uh, you'll want to do so. Uh, we show you how to get Zencart installed and then we walk you through a bunch of different steps on you know how to do the margins um, if you go over here to our homepage, uh, you might want to write this down. Go to www. and then the letter U, and then savedomains.com. And if you scroll down a little bit on the homepage, you'll see some tutorials here on Zencard. Now they might be in a different location when you finally watch this video, uh, but for right now they're here, so you might have to search around a little bit or scroll down a little bit for the Zencard but we have a bunch of prior videos that we've already walked you through how to do. So you'll want to watch those first. And if you haven't got the program installed yet, just watch the first video, how to install it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into the assumption you've already got it installed and you've watched the prior videos and followed the steps. I'm going to change the look and feel of this template right here and what I'm going to do is I've logged into my control panel area already but first I'm going to have to move the files up to the server the new template so I'm going to go to my FTP program and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go locate those files now just a few points and please make notes along the way if you feel you need to or you can watch the video again you can watch it as many times as you need to uh, wherever you get that file it's going to come in the form of a zip file so you'll want to unzip the file and pull out the contents that are in it usually what I do is I unzip it I will immediately see the files inside and I basically highlight those and I copy and I paste them into a totally separate folder that's in like my documents or on my desktop that I've created and then what I do is I need to now move those over so let me connect back to the server. I'm going to highlight the folder that I installed it into and you'll see right here here's the zip file but here's the other files that I basically pulled out of the zip file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the includes folder and I'm going to open it up. I'm then going to click on the templates folder to see what templates I have and here it is right here an upscale boutique so these are all the files sitting on my hard drive but I need to move them over to the files that are sitting on the server but I gotta make sure that I put this folder in the correct directory the correct location for my template to work correctly so what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna want to double click on the includes folder on my root directory I'll go to the second subdirectory of that which is called templates and I'm gonna double click on that and you'll see down below here these are the files that are in the templates directory now I, I wouldn't recommend deleting any that are here right now uh, these are the ones that come with the installation so just leave those the way they are but I'm gonna wanna move the temp the excuse me the template that I want over to the server so I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna hold my mouse down and I'm gonna drag it over here and I'm just gonna let go and now it's installing. So while that's doing that, I just want to point out a few things for those of you that are new. Uh, over at You Save Domains, uh, we can help you register .coms. Right now we've got a special on .coms, which is $8.49. Uh, many of the other registers out there right now are at $12.99 or higher. So we can help you get your domain registered. Uh, we also have a $1.99.infos and we also offer hosting, SSL certificates, custom websites, all sorts of products. But for those of you installing Zencart, and if any of you feel it might be a little bit more advanced than what you're looking for, you need something a little bit smoother and easier for you, uh, if you scroll down our page just below the 
video tutorials here you'll see shopping cart software. This might be another option for you. It's basically a, a templated program that all you do is choose a template, upload your photos and your prices, and then you'll be able to start selling right away. You could tie it to like a PayPal account or a credit card account and we can help you get this uh, set up for you and kind of walk you through it a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my files that have uploaded and you'll see here that they've all completed. Um, what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to go into the uh, Zencart control panel, the back end, and I'm going to now need to tell the system that I want to use a different template. So I'm going to go up here to tools, I'll go down to template selection. If you scroll over on the right side, I'm going to click edit. I'm going to change the classic contemporary green to the new one. I just clicked edit. I'm going to scroll through my list of templates that I've added and here's the upscale boutique. I'll choose that and I'll click update. Now one other thing that you're going to want to do and you're going to want to make a note of this is you're going to want to go back to the tools section. You're going to want to go to the layout box controller and if you scroll all the way down you're just going to want to hit reset. Now you're going to need to do this whenever you change a template probably 99 percent of the time. I'm not really sure why but for some reason that's just what's going to lock it in. So now I'm going to go back to my live Zen cart. This is the old template look and feel that we're working on and if I refresh the cart right here, refresh the page, you'll see it change. And there it is. Got the new look and feel. The t-shirts are still in here. I've got the side boxes still here. And you can watch the other videos on how to modify that if you haven't yet. And that's how you change a template for Zencart over at usavedomains.com. Now if you like the video, um, wherever you're watching it, look around the margins there. There might be a thumbs up sign or maybe a uh, Facebook uh, like button. Uh, if you could like us or Facebook or uh, give us a thumbs up, that would greatly help us in helping other people learn about us. Um, but thank you and uh, please visit us again for other video tutorials. Thank you. Bye-bye.